with everything to lose, and Davy Gallant has everything to gain. True, but but again, this might be that thing where Ross is he, he, he's more doing it for can I still go? Not that he's an old man, which it, it, in no way. As the elder compared to him, I would say there's no way I'm going to go put four ounce gloves on again and do it. I'm and on I'd the wrong side of 40. still say to you, you kids today have no respect. <laughs> but what I'm saying is this is a great opportunity for him to come in and, and do something that he obviously loves to do. Loves it so much that he missed it that he came back to it. But it's not just him inside that cage. So this isn't an event where it's just, oh, we're going to come out here and we're just going to look at Ross Pearson. We do have Davey coming in. And we're going to head up to the Viking now to introduce our main event. Brentwood Essex, it is now time for your main event. Introducing the first fighter, fighting out of the red corner, Lenormand Davy. Galon. the next fighter. Returning to the UK after a four-year hiatus, he's a certified UFC and MMA legend. Fighting out of the blue corner, Ross, the real deal, Pearson. Let's go. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the following main event will take place in the Pro Bellum Welterweight Division and will consist of three five minute rounds. Fighting out of the red corner, standing five foot seven inches tall, weighing 163 pounds, from Normandy, France, Le Normand David Gallon. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, standing five feet nine inches tall, weighing 163 pounds, from Sunderland, England, Ross, the real deal, Pearson. I've been an MMA fan for a very, very, very long time, Nick, and if you had told me one day you might get to call a Ross Pearson fight, I'd have called you a liar, but here I freaking am. Unbelievable. Touch of gloves, Dan Mavahedi getting ready to start this off as Ross, the real deal Pearson, fights in the UK for the first time in over four years. Yeah, and, and he's taking the center of the cage right away. Davey's got a nice boxer stance, hands held high, shoulders rolled forward. You know, Ross, Ross done a few interviews leading up to this. He said that he was going to use the experience he's got. He's seen it all. He's done it all. He's in no rush. He's not going to make mistakes. Oh, eh, well, Davey tried to do something a little fancy. He got that spinning back. Ross was able to sweep right in and get the body lock. Oh, uh, works. Galan doing great though, stepping over into the full mount. Pearson turns. Good scramble there, but Davy Galan looking, looking to try and work for that rear naked. You'd think that that's what he's going to be looking for here. Yeah, he's going to try to get one of those arms up underneath the chin. Ross doubling it up, working nice and deep. Sliding so that chin, head out, on the, fighting to get that back to the mat. Peels the hand off. What he's going to continue to do here is he'll bring his hips closer in because the higher he is and the closer his head can get to the mat, the less pressure Davey's going to be able to put on his neck. Oh, the Galas still working hard for that rear naked. Has he got it? Ross continuing to try and break that hole. It's a tight, tight. Ross turns and rolls. And, and Davey's really high here. Ross is going to be able to swim out the back door. He's better, gonna, got to be careful not to leave his head behind for that potential triangle or his or arm. arm. The roly-poly kid there in the corner, Tommy Quinn, asking him to pass the hips, which he did. And he's got to be careful as well because now his leg's locked in there. So he's got to continue to roll through. And doesn't he? Get, it, there's not going to be much thrown at Ross Pearson in the cage that he hasn't seen before. No. And, and what he's done is, he, it technically you could call this he's in guard, but what he's done is he sat down like he's in half guard, and he's pinned now Davey's leg up underneath him. So Davey can't even use that to do anything but what he did, which was clear distance. David, go oh, two shots landed there. Galant really composed on his back. Yeah, and, and Ross is nice and composed on top as well. He's not forcing anything. He's not rushing anything. He's making sure that he doesn't leave an arm behind. He's not trying to jump. Is he going to clamp down in that half guard? Yeah, it's tough though because Davey's being smart. If he knows what he's doing is he's using that other leg to push away and what that does is it, it allows him to get back to guard but also it keeps him farther than arm's length away so it makes it really difficult for Ross to be able to land punches. He's using the butterfly guard effectively to stop Ross from being able to, even if he postures up, land those punches. And if he does, they're short punches. Get him. Always looking for something off his back is Davy Galan. Oh, and he's used that leg to end up 
sweep, and he's got now Pearson with his back up against the cage. Pearson's now stood back up. He used that cage to wall walk up. Go on with a nice chopping knee to the thigh. Gallant now pushing Pearson up against the cage. Pearson trying to pummel under. And Ross doing a good job. He's got that double unders now. A minute left in the round. Pearson working with Gallant. He's back up against the cage. And Gallant looking real composed. Lovely throw. And he baited him in with that one. So he was able to set that up by pressure, 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 release. Now it's knee up the middle there. Controlling Pearson's head, but Pearson slips out. And, and Pearson stayed nice, calm, and composed. You know, we can only say that he, he, he's a veteran so many times because, he, like you said, he's been in all of these positions before. And when you've been in them so many times over the course of a career, if you haven't seen something you've never seen before, you're prepared for everything. <laughs> wow. It, you know, it, it, if this round proves nothing, it proves that it certainly proves that Davy Gallon did not come here just to make up the numbers and be the sacrificial lamb for Ross Pearson. No, and, and, and Davy Gallon is smart. If we look here at the replay, he's trying to fight at his range. He's got shoulders forward. He, he tried to do something at the beginning of the fight, but then look, he spent a ton of time on top. He had Ross's back here. He was working to get under the chin. Ross stayed nice and calm. He was pretty tight here when he locks this up. It was a struggle a bit for Ross to make sure to keep his neck composed, but if you notice, he's got his hips nice and high. He's up on his heels to stay away from everything. Now again with the wall work against the cage, a beautiful throw here. And we said it before, the French know their judo. Yeah. If, if we had any doubters at all that we that that Pro Bellum had just brought in somebody for Ross to run through, let those be dismissed now. Exactly. Second round underway here. Ross. Taking the center of the cage, slowly stalking his man, trying to get Gallon's back up against the cage. Nice stiff jab by Davy. Davy seems to have a little bit of size on on Ross. That's a little bit more reach. Yeah, but I mean Ross is smart. He's coming in. He's got his hands up. He's got his chin tucked. Throws that nice overhand right there. And goes down low to the body. Lots of feints, lots of head movement. Yeah, we're, we're seeing a lot of what Ross was doing inside the boxing ring. He's brought that now into the MMA cage. He's got that good head Whoa. movement. Head kick from Galan, taken well by Pearson. Again. And there's good feints going in here. Is He's forcing... Gallant to work and Gallant's not taking the bait a lot because what's ended up happening is on those feints you'd think okay Davey's going to jump in on it or he's going to react but what Pearson's doing is smart is he's trying to see okay how will Davey react if I do this Yeah. and then okay I'll do it again same reaction cool it's that fight IQ it's learning you've been in there enough you get an understanding of okay this is how I do things and then Pearson back to the center of the cage. Hands up nice and high. In on the single leg, Davy Gallon. He's got that single lift up the ground. Pearson's... I mean, great work by Davy Gallon there. Hey, he was able to pull into the mat. Pearson used that wall to pop right back up. He's now in on double unders and was able to turn around. And notice what he does with his head. He instantly puts the head up underneath the chin to work positioning for Galan. Yeah, Galan being able to turn him. Big shoulder strike there. 
And again. Battle of it. Again, it's almost an attritional battle of position here. Galon. So what Galan just tried to do is he tried to do a little shuck and wanted to see if he could get him off balance. And by that, he would then be able to hopefully get him to go to the ground. Pearson started to take the bait for it a bit, was able to get that leg out in front of him and stop himself before he went back down. And we just, we, we just were taking turns, putting, putting our opponents back up against the cage here. And, right in front of us now. And, and it's knees to the bodies. It's really working on softening up the bodies and the knees. And another reversal of position, another change of position. Now we're out into the open of the center of the cage again. The corner of Pearson constantly talking, telling him 90 seconds left in the round. Pearson's gone with that little jab feint to the body a few times, and he's been setting up the overhand right with it. I think he's looking to see whether or not he can get Galan to drop his hands just enough to where he could step in and actually land that hard overhand right. Head kick attempt there from Galan, but a nice high guard from Pearson. Turn back against the cage again. Galan right in his corner. And he, he's at an advantage. I mean, let's be honest. I didn't know. If, oh, Pearson with a nice trip. Now, it, it, there is an advantage here for Gallon. Is his coach is French. Yep. So whatever he says, he's saying it in French. Don't know if Pearson speaks French. I'm, I'm going to guess probably not. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Solid right hand. Right. So what Gallon's trying to do with that butterfly is he's trying to create that space, but he's not going to be able to do it because he's got his head up against the cage. So he can use it a bit to stop the momentum and hopefully push away, but with 10 seconds left, I don't see it happening. Nope. And here we go. Oh, we got a cut above Pearson's left eye. Andrew Fisher. In the corner there, Doctor just taking a look at the cut. All yeah. right, so let's look at, at that single leg takedown. As we look, as soon as he hits the mat, notice how Pearson's posted, instantly goes to climb back up. I like that there's no guarantee. And Gallon's pressure has been, has pretty a bit, has been pretty outstanding both rounds. Yeah, and, and Pearson's been smart though. When he needs to pull away, he's pulled away. Here we are out in the center. We're taking a look at that eye kick. And then Pearson, at the end of that round, sitting on top. He's got really good positioning, looking to rain down punches. He did land that hard, stiff right hand when he came over with it. And here we go for the third and final round. Third and final round here. And Brentwood, Leisure Center, Pro Bell and MMA. Ross, the real deal, Pearson. Taking on Davy Gallon, we touch gloves and away we go. They come out swinging. Gallon oh, went to the body there, the Gallon. Pearson responds with an uppercut. Oh, Checks that leg kick. That was a nice leg kick check. Now Gallon's trying to bait him in. He's actually faking that shot and shooting that underhook. And then gets in on the single and Pearson smartly goes all the way to the cage, gets his back against that cage, and he starts to work to make sure that his back's against the cage so he's not actually giving it up. Start hand fighting and turn towards him like he does into the body lock and spins. It's like textbook. Ooh, good area. It looked like it, that could have been a little bit north of the border, but nope. South of the border? Yeah, that's what I mean. Canadians Canadian. have no idea. Yeah. Nice knee to the body there from Davy Gallon. Caught that knee and dumps him down. And Pearson's tried to catch it now in the first and second, and he was finally able to catch it in the third and get the takedown. He's now sitting in a perfect 
half guard position. Galan's head and shoulders are trapped against the cage. And he knows what he's doing. He's trying to turn his body away because he does not want to have his back of his head against the cage. Yeah, he was pushing off there with pushing off with his feet, trying to change the the angle a little bit, get him off that cage. Yeah. Pearson, no stand heavy. I, I'm really worried because we know that this referee has standed people from half guard before. <laughs> yeah, we have seen that happen, but I'm pretty sure Ross will stay busy enough that we're not going to have to worry about that. But look at Galan. He's smart. He's trying to get that butterfly inside to create a bit of space and to get rid of that half guard. Pearson's just being smart. He's got his hips nice and low, staying heavy and working to try to see, okay, Ooh, a diving leg lock here. Looking for the leg lock. Going heel hook deep. Uh, Pearson defended that well. That was nice jump for that leg lock slash heel hook, though, by Pearson. Oh, he dropped his head. Oh, oh pays for it. Good guillotine jump. Pearson was able to get out of it, but Galan threw that punch as soon as they braked. Oh, trying Spitting that back elbow. cheeky back elbow there. Knee to the body, but Pearson dumps him again. But every time he hits him, Akalon gets gets at least a butterfly in. Yeah, and so Pearson's constantly fighting to try to get over it. And then a second butterfly. Now he's in butterfly guard. His head, though, is in perfect position. If you notice what Pearson's doing, he's putting it right up underneath the chin and forcing Galan's back of his head to be cupped by the cage itself. And he's lucky. I mean, Pearson's taking him down in the right spot. He's right by his own corner. Yeah, Tommy Quinn and Andrew Fisher there giving advice to Ross Pearson. Both son. has done so well at not absorbing any kind of meaningful damage or eating any meaningful shots from the, from the bottom position. Yeah, I mean, we've had that one or two really hard rights that landed, but for the most part, nice sweep ankle pick. And up we get again. De said it before, I'll say it again. Davi Galan was not brought in here just to make up the numbers. This young man wants to, as you've said, play the spoiler and it's making Pearson work for everything so far. Exactly. A and he's throwing some good punches. He's setting things up. He he's trying to get, he's baiting Pearson in. He's feinting the shot, going for that uppercut. He's trying to time out Pearson's head movement. Oh! Head kick eaten. Both, both guys a little bloodied now, wearing these 14 minutes so far. Is that Cut, cut under that eye. Spinning heel kick. Pearson with a body. Oh, oh shit! Oh my, oh my god! Goodness! Oh. I don't even know what to call that. Uh, oh. oh my goodness! A, a capoeira rolling heel kick. I have never in. I've never seen a finish like that. Wow. <laughs> wow. Let's take a look at this replay. It, it was like a front roll heel kick. I mean, talk about taking a, I mean, that's a risky technique to, to pull off. Took the risk. Paid off in spades. Yeah. I mean, that was a absolutely just. I, I got to look at it again. Oh, oh, wow. It's unbelievable. Holy, holy, <laughs> wow. So Pearson backs him up with that high kick, and then just this. He just throws his whole roll, body into it. Heel kick to the head. I, well, I'm, I'm going to guess that highlight's going viral. Yeah, I, I'm thinking that. Uh, uh, nobody knew Galan's name until just, just now. now. What an incredible finish to this fight. Uh, let's send it up to uh, Adam, the Viking Kirby, because I honestly, I, I don't know what else I can say right now. Uh, and, and for the last time this evening, we'll send it up to the Viking. I've been Steve Cook Abbott. I've been working alongside Nick Albert. We are the Can-Am Connection. <laughs> Amen, brother.
Thank you again to everybody for tuning in to Pro Bella. We we really appreciated uh, the feedback that we've been getting thus far via social media and also everybody here in the crowd. It's been a fantastic event. Let's send it out to Adam Kirby and let's make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, the main event ended after 4 minutes and 36 seconds in the third round due to knockout. The winner, fighting out of the red corner, Lenormand Daviga. Well, one thing, Steve, we had said, you know, Pearson's seen everything. Ladies and gentlemen, I've seen everything. everybody at Pro Bellum would like to thank you for attending tonight. Please check out our social media pages at Pro Bellum MMA. We wish you all a safe journey home. Thank you and good night. <laughs> As you were saying, you thought you'd... There's nothing we can't. Well, there's nothing new in MMA anymore. No, I've seen it all. I, <laughs> I, I've just been proved absolutely wrong with that oh. front roll heel and, kick. And this wasn't, you know, this wasn't. This is out. That's stone cold kale. Well, I've seen something new today, and I gotta say, it's made me smile. And thank you, everyone, again uh, for joining us at Pro Bellum. Uh, it, it's been a fantastic time. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed the fights and we look forward to seeing you sometime early in 2020. <laughs>